Hello and welcome. Um, welcome to today's presentation. Um, my name is Waji Dab. I'm from Luna Innovations. I work as a product line manager within the Lightweight division. And today I'll be talking about our new product, which is a portable uh, backscattering reflectometer that's ideal for field and maintenance applications. Uh, before I go ahead and start talking about the product and the solution, I would like to introduce the company. So Luna Innovation uh, is a public company that was founded, founded in 1990. Um, there are more than 400 employees within Luna. And Luna is specialized in designing and manufacturing uh, fiber optic technologies, uh, fiber optic based uh, products. Um, we have two different uh, product lines within the lightweight division. The first one deals with fiber optic sensing applications. And we have three technologies, um, the, fiber, the all of the art technology for short range, uh, high resolution. And we have the distributed acoustic sensing uh, technology and we have the FBG sensing technology. For photonics test, we have multiple products for um, distributed loss information, as well as a lot of products that deals with uh, polarization, uh, control, and measurement. Also, uh, within Luna, we have so many optical components and modules for OEM applications. So the topic that we're going to talk today uh, about is the related to reflectometers. So I just want to point out that there are um, three um, technologies in the market um, when it comes to uh, measuring distributed, um, distributed reflectivity or loss. The first one is um, very common, the OTDR technology, which is uh, suited for um, long range up to a couple of hundred kilometers, and it uses a pulsed laser. The second technology uses low coherence, inter, um, low coherence interferometry technique, and it's ideal for short range, uh, up to a meter or so. Um, but the, the topic that we'll be talking about today is, is the uh, reflectometers that are based on all of the art technology. Uh, all of the art uses a sweep source, the, uh, light source, and it sweeps the wavelength over the entire um, wavelength range and provide information versus time or distance or even versus wavelength. So here are the uh, products that Luna offers that are based on all of the art technology. Uh, starting from right to left, we have the uh, OVA 5000, uh, which is a complete um, solution for uh, full characterization of uh, devices, um, roughly um, a meter or so. Um, 6415 is a new product that was designed to uh, target uh, production applications because of its superior um, measurement speed uh, that can do uh, up to 12 measurements per second. And the OBR 4600 um, is a um, most sophisticated reflectometer that we offer that has the highest special resolution of 10 micron. Uh, sampling resolution is 10 micron, and it can provide the distributed uh, loss information versus distance or time or versus wavelength in addition to phase and polarization information. But the topic today is about our portable, our new product that's that's portable, um, but it's also based on the of the art technology. So how it works, basically, um, this is a simple setup for an O of the R. Um, it uses a, um, a coherent um, O of the R technology. So we sweep the wavelength. We split the light into a reference and measurement arm. The reflected signal from the DUT will be interfered with the, with the reference path. And depending on um, the beat frequency that's measured and the tuning rate, we can tell the, the location by doing Fourier transform of the of the of the data. So we can isolate isolate those reflections in the time domain. This is a typical graph of the OBR. Um, and basically, we get distributed loss versus distance. Um, this the features about the OBR uh, 6200 series. Uh, it has a very high spatial resolution no dead zones, no launch cable. It can sense all the way to minus 129, so it can sense the backscatter, and it's ideal for high precision uh, of faults and uh, latency measurement. So all of our instruments that are based on OBR or OVDR technology use the same technique to measure return loss and insertion loss. Once you have your 
reflectivity graph, if you integrate the uh, reflective event, you can get the return loss of that event. And by sensing the change in the backscatter before and after the event, we can tell the, the, the drop in the loss. Uh, so that, that's how it measures. For the 6225 uh, 20, 2000 series, we have three products or two products and three configurations. The 6225 one measures um, up to 200 meter and it comes with one port. The 6225-2 comes with two ports, but it, it's the same uh, spec. So we can provide distributed loss um, up to 200 meters. And the recent development is 6235, which can do up, which can provide information up to 500 meters. Uh, also, all of these configurations uh, they come with an automatic self calibration and optical alignment. So there is no need for user intervention to do any calibration. Um, you can access it through USB and Ethernet, and the battery can be uh, can run up to three hours in in the field. So here are the target applications. Whenever there is a need for troubleshooting a very short network, um, if the fiber is deployed not in the lab but also in the field applications where you need um, a portable solution, uh, when uh, high resolution or high accuracy uh, length ident identifications of the fault, such as uh, bends or breaks or bad connectors uh, are needed, uh, or if there is a need for latency measurements, for example, financial data centers. Also, when there's an optical matching requirements with very tight tolerances in the optical path, uh, and also when AutoDI cannot achieve this. Here we have a solution, it's the OBR6200. This is a typical example of using the 6225 or 6235 uh, in the field. Um, this is a, a short network of um, single mode and multi-mode fiber. The unit can provide uh, distributed information not only in the single mode fiber, but also uh, in, in multi-mode fiber. And this is an example. We can see that we have a, a mode conditioner at the beginning uh, of the fiber network. We have two um, jumbers or two cables of multi-mode fiber and then a single mode fiber. With the, with the 6235, you can get a clear um, graph with the identifications of the, those um, uh, connectors interfaces if there's any bend or any um, fault in this fiber net network. The measurement speed is uh, close to 10 seconds and everything can be accessed uh, from, from the front panel. You can, it's a touch screen, so you can access all those events, uh, measure the, the distributed loss, the, the distributed reflections, and accurate identifications of those, of, of those um, uh, events. I uh, just want to point out that uh, the 6225, which can go to 200 meter, um, the, the latency accuracy for short network, like for 20 meter, is five picoseconds. And for the longer range, uh, the 500 meter, the uh, latency accuracy is 95 picoseconds. For more details about the OBR technology and the using it for uh, fiber optic testing and latency measurement, please join our webinar tomorrow. Uh, it's uh, it's it's going to be presented by David Potter, who's the marketing director at Luna. And please don't forget to visit our booth, um, uh, virtual booth for any questions to know more about our solutions. So that's the end of my presentation. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer.